these uh, three skinny wooden figures on our mantle. They were a uh, gift to me on my first trip to South Africa back in 1990. Let's face it, any one of them alone would be downright odd. They belong together. Passengers who arrive at the O.R. Tambo Airport in Johannesburg are greeted by a large mural in the arrival area. It contains an old African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. I think Jesus knew that. That's why we read in the sixth chapter of the Gospel of Mark. He called for the twelve and sent them out in pairs. He gave them authority over unclean spirits. And so they went out and proclaimed that people should change their hearts and lives. And they cast out many demons and they anointed many sick people and healed them. Jesus never expected his disciples to accomplish their mission alone. He sent them out together. You'll remember that he reiterated that point that night at the Last Supper when he said to the disciples, I no longer call you servants. I call you friends. The church has never actually named friendship as one of the sacraments, but there it is. In that setting, friendship in Christ becomes sacramental in the gift of the body and the cup. We are sent out as Jesus' disciples, as friends, called to go into the world together as the agents of God's kingdom, of God's healing, of God's life, of God's wholeness, and of God's love. We're sent together as friends. I'm sure that for you, just as it is for Martha and me, one of the hardest things about this COVID-19 period is being in isolation, being cut off. From our friends. We, we watch worship every Sunday morning. We do our best to engage in it, but it doesn't, doesn't hold a candle to being present in the congregation. I, I never would have made it. Over 42 years in active ministry without the friends that God brought into my life friends who encouraged me, sustained me, held me accountable, laughed with me, guided me along the way. When Jesus calls us, he calls us into a sacramental friendship. We belong to each other. And just as he did with his first disciples, he doesn't send us out as lone angels, soaring eagles, he sends us out together as his followers to be the expression of his life and love in this world. Thank God that we are no longer servants. We are friends and we are sent together. Thanks be to God.